Welcome to Arlington, home of the Red Devils. I'm Frank Altieri with head coach Josh McGrain. Coach, how does everyone look before your scrimmage? Uh, I think we're, we've had a good week of practice. Uh, we've had two weeks before our first scrimmage and our second scrimmage, so we're kind of interested to see what kind of type of progress we've made in those two weeks, so we'll, we'll find out tomorrow. What do you look for in scrimmages? You know, we, we've got things that we want to, you know, kids we're evaluating, kids that we're looking at, um, things that we've been working on. Are they, are they, are we thinking the right things that we can do those things or not? So that's really what scrimmages are for to us, just to figure out what we need to tinker with and what we need to work with. What have the last two weeks of practice been like, you know, having your guys stay healthy while still grow uh, in your system? Yeah, it's uh, it's been kind of a big identity for, for trying to find our identity the past two weeks. Uh, you know, our first scrimmage against Marion Local and Bluffton, it's pretty good competition. We always figure out where we stand real quick and what we need to work on, which is why we love those scrimmages. Um, so we've had two great weeks of practice. You know, it's, it's it was a little different because typically we have kind of two weeks and then our first game, but this was like a week off. So a little more prep time, a little more work time, but the kids have really handled it really well. This is your fifth year here at Arlington. What have you learned in the first four? Uh, it's it's kind of a, it's obviously an adjustment uh, being the head man and uh, uh, coming from an assistant coach to a head coach. It's just a little different, but uh, you know, we've been around the kids work really hard. Our community expects us to have, have a very successful team. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a football, football kind of town and they really take sports seriously here. How have you prepped for your week one matchup? Uh, we've we've been looking at things a little bit. Uh, uh, our week one opponent, Riverdale, actually has a, has a new coach, so it's kind of a little bit of a mystery and, and what, things that they're going to do. Uh, but we we kind of know some of their personnel and the kids that they had last year. But what what are they going to be able to do? Uh, that's going to come from some scouting and from some film tape that we'll get this weekend. And every year you have a new senior class, and how have they really adjusted to kind of being the top dog on the team? Every senior class that we have, they, they have to realize that it's their it's their team. You know, it's they've they've put in four year you know four years of work, and now it's their time to to shine as seniors. And uh, this this group's really taken a hold, really kind of all the way back in the winter time, and uh, kind of kind of looking at the things that we needed to adjust as a program a little bit from last year to this year. And our kids have really bought in. And what about your freshmen? How have they adjusted from going from middle school ball to high school? <laughs> you know, we, we say the biggest, biggest adjustment for freshmen, it's just kind of survival mode, to be honest with you. It's a little different, and uh, but our, our freshmen have done a really good job of kind of handling things and, and kind of knowing what to expect because it's, it's a little bit different than the middle school, like you said. Any other matchups you've circled on your schedule? Uh, I wouldn't say that because obviously our week ones, you know, our, we always say the most important game on our schedule is the next one. So we're, we're really just looking at Riverdale right now. I'm with the team captains of the Arlington Red Devils. Guys, say your names. Tyson Spire. Andrew Walton. Jarrett Vermillion. Carter Essener. What has this offseason been like, kind of adjusting to the new challenge of a new season? Well, I think this offseason has been one of our best. I think we've took all the, the things from last season. I think we really worked on everything we needed to do. I think we've had a, you know grown a lot, and we've had even young guys contributing as well as old guys, and I think we've grown a lot this offseason. It's been a good year. We've had a lot of guys put a lot of extra work in this offseason, and Young guys are stepping up big time right now, and we can use it all year. Uh, kind of what like Tyson said, uh, last season we had a lot of sour moments, and it kind of just sprung us forward during the off season. And how is this group kind of bonded over you know this off season? You know, you guys are like you said, putting in those two days. You're working really hard, and you guys get to know each other even more. I think this is, this group is a little different for us because. Uh, you know, freshman through senior, we've had a lot of people starting, a lot of new people playing. So I think it's really brought us all together, and it's kind of not separated into varsity and JV, and it's all just kind of one big group. I think it starts with the seniors, not just us, but all of them really stepping up and taking a good leadership role this year. Uh, just having us get together and hanging out, just getting to talk to each other, know everybody's strengths and weaknesses, and being together as a team. Uh, I think the whole school is pretty close, honestly. Like. Arlington tradition, it's all about just being close with your teammates and friends. And this is your coach's fifth year. What have you guys learned from him? Um, uh, you know, Coach McGrain, he's a really good guy. Um, like, you know what I mean? He's, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but, you know, when he came along as coach, it's it's not just like he's a coach, but he's more of like a father figure, for, I feel like, for all of the seniors and all the players. And I think as he goes in farther in his career, you can really see the impact that he, you know, he teaches us as football players, but he really helps us as men. Yeah, I was going to say, like, not only do we grow as football players, but we grow as people when we're here, too. And I think he emphasizes that, like, it's just as important we leave here better people as better football players, and that's really important. Just like both of them said, make us better men. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's what I got. Uh, he really tells us to celebrate the little things because that's, that's what it's all about is the little things. 
Smart guys, have a great season. Stay healthy. The team captains of the Arlington Red Devils on WOSN.